Hi there guys this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video I am going to show you how you can improve your battery life on OnePlus 2. So guys this is the OnePlus 2 in front of us and you can basically improve your battery life in two ways. One if you are a normal user and if you don't have root access there are a few things that you can do to improve your battery life and if you have root access there are a lot of things that you can do to improve your battery life. So let's start off with normal users. So you can do some basic stuff like disabling the auto brightness. Simply go to settings and in display you have something called as adaptive brightness. Just disable that. Normally it is beneficial but most of the time it is one of the reason why your battery gets drained quickly. Next you can do something like disabling Wi-Fi, Bluetooth whenever you don't use them. I know it's pretty hard to manually turn it on and turn it off. So you can use some automation apps like say Lemma. Where is that? So this is Lemma. So it is a location based automation app. So you can configure it in such a way that whenever you are at home, your Wi-Fi is turned on and your mobile data is turned off. And whenever you go out of your home, your Wi-Fi is turned off and mobile data is turned on or you can configure it in any other way that you prefer. You can also do stuff like turning off Bluetooth location and Wi-Fi when you are at home at night. So you can do such kind of small tweaks and customizations to improve battery a lot. I would suggest you to use an app called as GSAM Battery Monitor. It's a battery monitoring app as the name suggests. So you have this option and when you do that you can see a graph of how your battery is charging or discharging. So if I go to the last tab, I get some pretty interesting information. So the green line that shows increase means that I have put my device to charging at that time and as you can see I couldn't keep it continuously that's why it looks like a mountain anyway over here you can see that the Wi-Fi has been continuously on for quite some time and it gives me a nice projection of how long the battery will last if I continue to use the device in the same way if I zoom in a bit like this just pinch in Okay, I might be at my limits. So guys, if we zoom in using this plus button over here, we can see or we can get some more information. Whenever the display is turned on, the battery life is draining much quickly. And so far the GPS has been continuously off and the Wi-Fi is continuously on. So if we move a step backward, so let's zoom out a little bit. We can see that the battery has been draining much quickly as the Wi-Fi was continuously turned on. You can see a steep curve over there. So it gives us a nice graphical representation of how the battery is draining and based on that we can do something about the battery drain. Next we have this option to check out the apps that are consuming a lot of battery and most of the times it shows us accurate information. So based on this information you can do something like turning on or turning off your Wi-Fi based on your location or time. And if you find any app to be draining your battery even though you're not using it, you can use an app called as Greenify. So it's an application that kills or stops applications from running in the background. Even if you don't have root access, this will work, but at a very limited pace. So you can use this app simply to block applications. As you can see, I have blocked all these applications from running in the background and thereby saving a lot of battery. All you need to do is simply install this application from the Play Store, press the plus button and the application suggests you some apps to block. So just select the app that you want to block and press this button to add it to your list and whenever you press this button it will hibernate or stop the applications in your list so in this way once again you can save a little more battery if you are really lazy or if you are not so geeky to use any automation app you can change the wi-fi sleep policies so just go to wi-fi go to settings i mean menu and select advanced over here we have the option that says keep Wi-Fi on during sleep by default it is set to always and you can set it to never so from now on whenever your display is turned off and your device is not downloading anything Wi-Fi will be turned off so this is one nice way to save battery next we can change the location settings so in the location we have different modes like high accuracy, battery saving and device only. So you can use this option to save a little battery or else completely turn off the location 
to save a little more battery. So guys, these are the things that you can do if you don't have root access. And if you have root access, you can use the same Greenify application with root permissions, which allows the app to work in a much efficient way. Next, we have an app called as Wake Lock Detector, which actually requires root permission on Android 5.1 or even 5.0. So this app continuously runs in the background and checks which are the apps that are constantly interrupting your phone. So based on that information, you can greenify some more apps. Next, we can install something called as Exposed Framework and install a module called as Amplify. And Amplify is very similar to Greenify, but Greenify blocks or stops applications and Amplify blocks wake up calls. So if you look at the stats, the stats have been collected for the past 22 hours wake lock time allowed 21 hours and wake lock time blocked 2 hours so at least something is better than nothing and having these two apps amplify and greenify does improve your battery by a great extent i forgot to mention this so guys even when you don't have root access you can use this app called snapdragon battery guru which doesn't require any root access or root permission and does a similar job like greenify or maybe even better you can have both the Snapdragon Battery Guru and the Greenify running parallelly and still it will definitely make a difference or it will definitely improve your battery life. So there you have it guys, in this way you can definitely improve your battery performance on your OnePlus 2. If you think I have missed out on any tips, do let me know by commenting below this video. And if you have any doubts, do let me know by commenting below this video or you can directly contact me on my Facebook page. If you found this video to be helpful, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.